Hi, everybody. Uh, I decided to start making my own cooking show kind of thing because I love cooking. That's what I want to master in college. And I'm going to show you guys how to make a baked potato. So the materials, well, how to make a baked potato really fast in 5 to 10 minutes. And the materials you need are... Oh, and one other thing. Uh, also, I'm going to be making some french fries along with it, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that, too, while we have uh, the potatoes. Your materials you need are a plate, a bag. Make sure it's a like plastic bag. I just got this one from Walmart. Of course, your potatoes. And a knife for the uh, french fries, so this is optional if you're going to make french fries, too. And you're going to need some water, too. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your potatoes and go wash them, because they do not wash potatoes. Well, maybe in some bags they do, but in this bag they do not, so let's wash our potatoes off. And what I mean by wash is not to get soap and stuff. Just wash them off really good. We have all the dirt on them from the ground still. So we'll wash them really good. And now I'm just going to get back to my plate. Step number two for the baked potato is you're going to get probably your largest baked potato so that you can have a good meal and uh, a good <laughs> um, dinner. So you're going to just place it in your plastic bag and then we're going to go back to the sink and put some water inside the bag. So let's go to the sink. So I'm back at the sink and now I'm going to just, just a tad bit of water just like that much. And then you're going to want to tie it and place it in, sorry, in the microwave for 10 minutes exactly. Okay, so there it is, spinning in the microwave. And while we're waiting for the uh, baked potatoes to cook, then I'm going to show you guys how to make the french fries. Since I already washed this one, I'm not going to have a problem with going back to the water and washing it again. So you're just going to want to cut it in the shape of how you want your french fries. And then I'll come right back because I'm not sure how you guys want your french fries. So I'm just going to cut them how I want them to be. And this is how I want my french fries. I'm really kind of making them uh, potato chips, but they're not really potato chips. They're just like... Potato guavs, I don't know, whatever you want to say. And so now I'm going to place these in the microwave, but my potatoes are still in the microwave. So I'm going to do something else, and I'm going to show you all something really fast. Having problem with bread rolls? Well, here is your solution, okay? So bread rolls get, or really any kind of bread, gets hard when it's placed in the refrigerator or placed not in a bag where it's air safe Oops. <laughs> and um so i'm gonna show you guys how to get your bread back to normal basically in the oven i mean <coughs> in the microwave in the microwave for about one minute makes them fresh and feels good and they're also warm warm so it's even better and good so yeah and if you leave them in there for too long then they'll probably get even harder so make wise choices and be careful okay guys so my potato has been in there for a while and you do not want to touch the bag where the water is so you're just going to carefully turn it to this side that it's to make it face you and then you're going to get a fork No forks. Forks. <clears throat> I guess nobody's put up the dishes yet. And then you're just gonna 
poke it. See if it's still hard. I can't get into it. I think it's still too hard. Ah, maybe I need to rip a little hole in the back. So I'm going to do this and pause the video. Okay, so it's not all the way cooked because I did not leave it in there for the full 10 minutes. So do not think that you're not cooking it long enough when it's on 10 minutes because I did not, I thought it would be good if I didn't leave it in. Yeah, I thought it would be good if I left it in there for a little bit longer. I mean, shorter, but I guess not. So, um, yeah, I guess I have to wait. I might think of something else to do, show y'all, but yeah. Okay guys, so I thought of an idea to do while these things is cooking. And my idea was to show you the materials that I put on my baked potatoes that you probably have in your fridge right now. Let's see. Okay, so bottom drawer. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, whatever. So I'm going to get just cheese. Let's see. Cheese, cheese, cheese. We don't have any cheese, cheese, cheese. That is horrible, bull, bull. Oh, what happened to all the cheese? I guess I won't have no cheese. Okay, so. Then I'll just get my butter. Set that on the oven. And then I do put sour cream on it, but I can't seem to find the sour cream. Oh, no. I don't have a lot of food right now, so, yeah, so, I guess I'm just going to have a buttered baked potato. Not there, not there. Poo. Are these hard-boiled or cooked? I don't want to see. I'm kind of, because I did eat some hard-boiled eggs yesterday because my mom made some tuna fish, and it was really good. Okay, so now I'm going to see... If my potatoes are done, let's see. Okay. It's smelling pretty good, yeah. Okay, very hot. Do not touch. Caution, do not touch potato. Ooh, that's soft. Okay, so it's been in there long enough. I'm gonna take it out very carefully. Oh, I just wanted to beat it. And I'm going to put it on my plate. And I'll be right back because I'm not going to have the camera in my hand and drop this potato on me and burn me so bad. Okay, bye. Okay, guys. So I have got my steaming baked potato. I don't even think you can see the steam on the camera. But still, yeah. So, bah. so now I get a knife. Ah. Or a fork, whatever. But I'm just going to use a knife because it's there. And then just cut it in half and like kind of scoop some of the stuff out. But not really scoop it out. I'll show you what I mean. And then just... I use a fork for this part. And now you can see the smoke. And then I'm just going to... Kind of smoosh it. And as you can see, I'm going through it really softly, because it's done. <clears throat> and make it kind of look like it was never cut in half, like it kind of exploded. That's really my goal. But the first thing you want to do is put your butter on so that it can melt and it can be very good. But I do not have any sour cream or cheese. That is optional for you guys. You might only like butter anyways. That glorious, but I do like cheese and sour cream on my baked potatoes, and sometimes meat and broccoli and stuff. Because, yeah, this is probably way too much butter, but I'll take it back off. And I'm just gonna spread it on there, spread it on there. See, it's already melting. Ah. I 
wish I had, I wish I could do some challenges for you guys, but I can only do single people challenges because uh, my sister's really mean to me, my mom is at work really all day, and yeah, so uh, if you want me to do any challenges, just put them in the comments below, and I will, oh god, I almost dropped my camera. And I will do them for you, but they have to be only for one person, or I will have to convince my sister to do it with me. <sighs> okay, let's taste how the finishing product tastes like. Oh, it's so good. It's good. It's really good. If you cook it long enough, if you put the right amount of butter, and if you do it right. And so, yeah, so my, um, my french fried chips, whatever, are still in there. You can probably hear the microwave going right now. But when it beats, I will help you. Okay. So let, let me put up the butter and I'll be right back. So it's hey. So it's been about five minutes. I'm going to see if my potato chips are ready. Sorry, I just like stabbing things. Let's see, let's see if the potato chips is done. How do I stab these things? I just stab it through here. Oh, they're done. Wait. No, they're not. Man, they're not done. Okay. Close it. You don't need to know my business. There it is going, and I think I only have like three seconds left. Okay. So it's done. I'm not even going to check them this time. I'm just going to take them out because I'm not... Waiting for them again, and I'm gonna put down the camera once more so I don't burn my arm off. Yay! Okay, bye. Voila! My masterpiece is, is ready. Jumbo gets the basketball. It's Hamaba. Zibo. Yay. Now, here comes the cleanup. You can see me put down my potatoes, but first I'm gonna put up this knife and this fork in the sink. I <laughs> hate cleaning. And then you gotta walk over to here. Why is there a french fry right there? My little sister was walking around with french fries all day. Trash. Okay. I'm not gonna try this again because I already tried it once for you guys. Dang, this video is 13 minutes long. So yeah. Peace.